What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to take a 3x3 Rubik's Cube and magnetize it. So let's get started. So to magnetize a Rubik's Cube, what you're going to need is a Rubik's Cube and some magnets that are meant for a Rubik's Cube, like neodymium ones. I'll just put a link in the description to some that I think are good. And then also a bottle of super glue, preferably 10 second super glue. And you'll also need something to protect your table because getting super glue on a table is not a good thing. So the first step is to take your Rubik's Cube, turn one layer 45 degrees, and pull out an edge piece, which can be pretty hard depending on the cube. So you may need to take a screwdriver, screw and turn it counterclockwise to make it easier. But I don't think I'll need to do that, so let me quickly take it out. There we go. After that, you'll need to just disassemble your entire cube. And then what you're going to need to do is take all the pieces and split them into their component colors. So I'm using the Maylong and it's pretty easy. I'm just take this and split it along the seam. So now you have your colored pieces and you also do that with the corner. And now you're going to do that for every one of your pieces. So I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, so I'm done. Here are all my pieces split into the component colors. And now we're just gonna sort the corners from the edges. So let's start. Okay, so I have my core, which we can just put off to the side because it's not necessary for the magnetization step. All the corners split apart and all the edges split apart. So now, we're going to need the magnets, which conveniently stick to my table, and the super glue. So what you're going to do is take one corner piece and one edge piece. They don't have to be the same color. They just happen to be right now. And you're going to take off two magnets. You can't really see it, but there's two. Now let me just split them apart. So there we go, two magnets, and you're going to draw one in the corner and one in the edge. Now you're going to put the two pieces together and you'll see they attract. So now what you're going to do is push them down a bit. So when on the normal cube the pieces touch, the magnets will touch more and it will make a more controllable cube and more stable cube. So now what you're going to do, take your super glue, take a little bit, just a little bit, you don't need much, and just Put a little bit on the corner magnet. That was probably way too much. A little bit on the edge magnet. That was probably more like the amount I needed. And now we're just gonna let those dry. Also when you do this, you have to make sure the pieces are completely lined up like they would be when the three by three is assembled. And now these are almost dry and what you're going to do is once they're dry take them apart and put them off to the side and use them as a template for other ones so all the magnets are in the same spot so about finishing up are they dry yet don't seem to be moving so the reason you wanted to do this is now oh did they just move nope these are your templates so you're gonna use this edge and you're gonna take it and then attach one of the corners like that. Take another magnet from my handy stack of magnets and do that. And now what you're gonna do is take this, put glue on, and then once the glue is dry, I'm going to take this corner and put it in a pile. So, I'm just going to wait for it to dry. It's been around 15 seconds. It said it was 10 seconds super glue, but I never really trust the companies. So, okay, it doesn't seem to be moving. We can now put it there. And we'll keep using these two as our template so all the corner magnets are in the exact same place. Also note, you don't need a magnet on either side, like one here and one here, just on one side. So now... Once you've done all of the ones in the corners, you're gonna do, oops, that 
didn't work. You can take the corner and do the same thing, but with the edges. So you'll take an edge and you'll put them together, take a magnet and put it in and then glue the magnet on the edge. And make sure you always use the original edge and corner when you're making another one because otherwise the magnets will be all funny and it won't really work. So now we have two pieces and you can see these two actually stick together. If they won't stick to my table, there we go. And now we just need to do this with all the other ones. So take these and just pretty much put a magnet in every one of the corners and edges. So this is gonna take a while. So sit back and enjoy the time lapse. Okay, so I finished everything and assembled the cube, and here it is. I have super glue all over my hands, so that doesn't really matter. I'll try turning it. So it has that nice magnetic bump. Let me... Oh wow, it's very stable. It does feel a little bit odd though, because there is a little bit of super glue on one of the pieces. That's kind of rubbing in the middle, because well, um, this is the first time I've ever done it, so I'm not like good at it. Anyway, yeah, it's a really nice... Thing. I think it was fun to glue it all. That took a long time, but it was also really fun. And yeah, this cube is actually surprisingly good compared to another Maylong. This one actually has a nice bump, and you can really feel the magnets. So yeah, this was a little fun thing to do. Make myself a Maylong M. And yeah. This is the end. I hope you enjoyed. Bye, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you next time.